Six Galaxy Nexuses walk into Revision 3 and only two walk out. And in this case, that's a good thing. And how to install the denied Google Wallet on your new Nexus today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by the 2012 Ford Mustang. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile application news and reviews. I'm Reese Valvanera, and we're joined today by Graham, Zach, and Matt, all of us being uh, recent Galaxy Nexus users and all of us approaching it a little bit differently. Graham, your approach to this is? Well, I'm uh, a hardcore iPhone user. Yeah. I've, had it, I've had an iPhone, every version of the iPhone since it uh, came out in 2007. Uh, and they're giving me this Galaxy Nexus for the next two weeks to see if I will come over to the Android side. It's going to happen. Um, yeah. But yeah. Zach? So I uh, owned the original Droid, and then I had the Droid Incredible, and then uh, I switched to the iPhone. And now I, I came to, back to the Galaxy Nexus hoping that this would be the perfect Android phone that I'd been waiting for. Okay. Um, you know, Verizon, LTE, stock Android, all that good stuff we'll get. We'll answer that question in a bit. Matt, what about you? Uh, I guess I would say, although I've never been, I, I love my iPad and my iTouch early on. I've never been an iPhone user. I've always been an Android user. And I did start, like Zach, with the Droid 1 and loved it until it kind of reached its limits because right. mm -hmm. it was early. Um, I am in love with this phone. Okay. Spoiler alert, you love, you love it. <laughs> well, let, let's talk about it. Let's start a little bit with the, the, the hardware. Let's forget about Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, this is, of course, uh, uh, Android 4.0, the, the recent uh, OS upgrade. Mm -hmm. But on a hard, hardware level, oh, look at all these phones. On, on a hardware <laughs> level, um, are, you guys, are you guys happy with it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes and no. You know, it's a Samsung phone, yeah. um, and so you know, for people who have used Galaxies or the Nexus S last year, Galaxy S two, um, you're kind of you know what you're getting yourself into. Um, it's it's plastic. Um, it has a back that pops off. People love it. Some people hate it. Mm -hmm. um, I actually think that the build quality on this is much better than um, those previously uh, Galaxy phones. Um, you know, I think they've improved in a lot of areas. Um, they still have the headphone jack on the bottom, which I'm not a big fan of. Yeah, you're saying that's kind of it gets in your way of your cup holder design. It does, <laughs> you know. Um, also, I just I don't know. Maybe I'm too used to the iPhone or the, or the Droid setup. Yeah. Um, obviously, the biggest thing hardware-wise is the size, right? So this yeah. is a 4.65 inch screen, way bigger than almost any other Android phone, aside from you know the what is it like the Dell Streak and stuff like that. Right. Um, so I think and that's your biggest issue. That. Well, yeah. If, I mean, should we just get into it? Let's get into it. Let's okay. have at it. <laughs> well, uh, this is kind of my conclusion, but um, the screen size is actually the deal breaker for me. Okay. I love a lot of things about this phone. I love almost everything about this phone, except for the screen size. It's yeah. just it's way too big, um, and it's not like it's like oh, it's a little big. Um, it actually feels fine in the pocket. But just usability wise, it's way too big. I know, you know, maybe I have kind of relatively I'm small with you, hands brother. or something. But um, I think that the Android OS has way too many actions in the top uh, bar and the top left corner of the screen. I think it's a nitpick. I think you're nitpicking. It, it is. It it's is. Like, yeah. I, and I'm just sick of staring at a tiny little screen. I, I, I totally agree with you. That's, totally I, agree with you. I I'm like, over it, and I just I will, I will I just will never do it again now that I have this. I think I, I think this comes down to the way you use your phone and. Graham and I were actually talking earlier about <clears throat> something a little bit more specific. With iPhones, you're so used to holding your, your the phone down at the bottom because that's where the, the, the power button is, that's where the home screen right. is. Here the power is up on the top right, and I think you really have to readjust your hand to, to, to hold the, the phone a little bit more centered, which, which gives you a little bit more so you want to hold space. That's a fair point. Right. That's, I've always bothered me about iPhones is that I have to hold it like I'm... I don't know. I'm a yeah. delicate yeah. little fancy boy. Right, right. IPhone, <laughs> and I'm doing this. Well, Matt, bit, you know. you are. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had an iPhone for that reason. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But that's with true. the form factor, also with the holding that, I, I always this volume rocker does get in my way. That's one of my little nitpicks okay. on this. Um, when I start pressing the power button on the side. Now, what about the uh, the camera on this guy? Um, we, we knew it wasn't going to be as as hot as um, say the, the Galaxy S2 or, or obviously the iPhone. Um, I'm happy Are you guys with, okay it. with this? I'm happy with it just because I came from the Droid 3. And yeah. Android 3, it, this is an improvement pretty much all, all around. Um, I don't even have Instagram on yeah. Android, so I'm no. not really missing it, like what a lot of iPhone users. Uh, I'm missing users. it. I'm missing it. I mean, I do miss it. What I'm saying is I don't miss not having that great camera quality, because I don't have something like Instagram to, right. to showcase it. But, right. Right. Um, so I'm happy with it. I mean, it's snappy. When you take the photos, it's click, click, click. 
Um, I Instagram? use the Pro HDR app, and oh. I, that gives me some good photos. Mm. So I feel like the camera. I mean, I'm not really going to judge the phone based on the camera because I, I'm coming from a 4S that has probably the sure. best camera in any mobile device. Uh, For and sure. This this feels like it's very snappy and responsive. I like that. It compares very nicely to the 4S in that way, where mm -hmm. you can just snap tons of pictures in a very short amount of time. Uh, and I like that. It's just the quality is just not there. And it's but and again, it's because I'm used to a higher standard. Yeah. Uh, and this. Uh, so I, I get the full resolution pictures back, and I'm like, it's just a little too grainy and sure. blurry and blown sure. out. And I just uh, I, I'm really not liking what it's what it's giving back uh, to me. But. Uh, it's a decent, very decent uh, uh, camera on the back of this thing. And also, I found that the front camera is better than the iPhone 4S. Oh, really? Because uh, it's, it's, sure. it's, it's, it's like exactly? 1.2 megapixels, and the uh, 4S front camera is just VGA, 640 okay. by yeah. Which I, makes me love the video chat on here. I use the Google Talk video chat oh, on really? this, you do and that? I love it. Yeah, people at home oh, on their cool. desktop are doing it. and I'm. The only problem is that even though it's a good camera, I still look like a freak when I open it open, and I'm like, ah, oh, God, I hate it's how I look. only so much like a camera that. can do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, now, what about um, the operating system itself? Graham, I know you're, you're fairly new to it. Um, well, to be honest, so am I. But by the way, I'm, I'm coming from the angle of um, I've always been an iPhone user. Um, I just recently switched to, to Android, and um, I'm, sticking, I'm sticking you're, with it. You bought this is your phone. <laughs> I'm taking one it's for not the a review team here. Like no, mine. this is this is mine. This is actually a keeper for me. But um, I have played with the f uh, previous iterations of it. Right before this, I had the uh, the Resound with with um, Gingerbread, and um, it's night and day, especially with with the bloatware and 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 all the things that HTC added to it. Yeah. Um, it's pretty fantastic. I don't know what you you, you have a richer history of. of the Android experience. Well, the big thing for me um, that I would that I would add to that Android experience, and I'll go into that, is the uh, missing the keyboard. So um, that is a big thing that I'm moving into now your, is your not having keyboard. the keyboard, the sure. physical keyboard on the Droid Three, mm -hmm. uh, which I was sticking with for a long time. Um, and so what I love about Ice Cream Sandwich is that you can do the the, the vocal, the whatever, mm -hmm. the microphone, and it, and it'll yeah. just work. Yeah. And it works really well. And I've been typing emails with it and texts and searching, and, and it's working great. It works pretty well um, in old versions of Android, too. As, yes, it as just, well, it but this show one's up better. As it shows up as you're speaking, which right. I really like. Um, and yeah. then you can, because you can go slower and see if it's actually working, right? Uh, and then stop if it's not, and, yeah. and, and fix it's it. It's really cool. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, it feels just like the same Android experience to me, which I have mm. loved mm -hmm. because I'm a big Google fanboy. Yeah. So for me, everything's integrated, you know, and that's all sort of up in the cloud. So I just turned this thing on and it was ready to go. I, you know, which I think was that's awesome. one of the, the bigger reasons why I, I am switching. I'm becoming more and more independent on on the cloud, and that to me means Google for the most part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just a natural transition mm -hmm. for. You know, I miss the games on my iPhone. Uh, but in terms of, I still have my iPad. Right. So I'm going to be okay. I'm going right. to be okay, guys. That's I'm what I said too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but as a workhorse, as a productivity tool where, where applications can actually talk to each other and not be their little desert island mm -hmm. uh, things, um, it's been the greatest experience for me personally. I know it's not specific to Ice Cream Sandwich, but sure. as a new Android user, that's, that's what's been great. I know. It's a big draw. So, so let's, let's, let's decide here. Um, I'm, I'm keeping the phone. Graham, are you, are you decided yet after two days with it? After two days, maybe not. Check back in two weeks. Okay. I, I will say I have more positive things than negative things to say, even after just two days with the phone. Wow. I really, really like this phone. Mm. It's, wow. in my awesome. opinion, the best Android phone I've ever seen. Uh, and I do have Android. I have an Android tablet. Right. And that's probably... that's. That's formed my opinion on Android, uh, and that's not the best thing to form an opinion on. Cause and it's I just, don't blame your opinion on, on a tablet platform. honeycomb yeah. platform. Yeah. yeah. So, honeycomb is one thing. Ice cream sandwich seems like a huge improvement. They're fixing almost everything that I did not like about uh, the Android experience. Um, I'm just playing with it, and I'm noticing these really nice little flourishes where I just, I'm just like, that's it. This yeah. is they're catching up yeah. very quickly to Apple. For sure. Uh, providing a very slick experience. Well, those so. are a lot more positive words than I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, what about you? Uh, I, I think it's a fantastic operating system. I think that um, you know it's caught up in a lot of ways. I think it surpassed iOS in a lot of ways. It feels like I can get more things done with Ice Cream Sandwich. You know, it's taken the best elements from Gingerbread and Froyo and Honeycomb, which had a lot of problems, and combined it into this beautiful package that is super fast, super slick. There's no more hardware keys, you know, so um, it's a much more flexible operating system, I think. Um, and, you know, it's so close to being the perfect phone for me. <laughs> wow. I just wish that they didn't go so far to the, to the, you know, the end of the size spectrum. Like, 4.3, cool. <laughs> Even maybe 4.5 is great. Yeah. But did you have to make it, like, really the biggest phone? <laughs> I mean, it's... So you're, you're holding out for the Note, then, right? 
Well, <laughs> so the search, the search for the perfect phone continues, and okay. um, you know what sucks about you know Android, frankly, is that it's going to be another year until we see the next Nexus, and sure. I don't want to get an Android phone that isn't a pure Google experience that will get updates first. You know, so uh, it's going back. All right. For me, love it, keeping it. Um, reserving judgment because I do power use. So um, I haven't seen how this thing's going to hold up to all of that. And How's also, uh, and the battery is, is, I'm going to get the longer battery because it is bothering me. Um, yeah. But it's, it's more of a replacement for um, my laptop than the iPad yep. is. And that's what I'm happy about. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm happy with the size. Yeah. Um, because I now can use this for my Netflix and my entertainment and sure. everything else. Absolutely. Um, and I don't have to carry around. The iPad, which is, you know, it's a little heavy thing to carry around. This is right. great. It slips right in the pocket. Um, and then when I'm sitting at the desk, I can use the laptop. So, cool. yeah, love it, keeping it. All right. Yep. So we've got uh, two keepers and two going backs. Probably, I'm going to say you're not. You're going to keep it. Graham's going to keep it. There's no way. There's no way. You're just keeping it. You're an iPhone. That's cool. All right. We, we can yeah, probably Graham's talk next. about this forever and ever and ever. But um, you should uh, continue the discussion in the comments. Um, we'll be right back after sponsor. We're going to actually check out how to install uh, Google Wallet on your Galaxy Nexus, which is being blocked right. um, by Thanks, Verizon. Verizon. Thanks, Verizon. Awesome. Uh, let's uh, <laughs> check out our sponsor first. Once again, we're sponsored by Ford this week, so we've been diving into some more of the features found in the 2012 Mustang. Our new Mustang features the Ford MyKey system. Forget to buckle your seatbelt? Well, don't worry, MyKey's belt minder will chime in to remind you. Want to limit your top speed to stay below the limit? Yes, MyKey can even help you do that too. And MyKey is just another one of the many fantastic features you'll find in the 2012 Mustang. So thanks again to Ford for sponsoring this week. Google Wallet isn't available on the Galaxy Nexus on Verizon, but installing it is gonna be a pretty simple process thanks to the people over at XDA-Developers. Now, first off, make sure you enable the ability to install third-party apps by going into your settings, scroll down to security and enabling unknown sources. Then install the APK from the link below. There's various ways of doing this. I simply move the APK to internal storage and use InfoLife's easy installer. And that's pretty much it. Once you've set up Google Wallet, you'll even get your $10 credit. No rooting necessary at all. Let us know what you've installed on your new Nexus, if you got a new Nexus. Uh, let us know at appjudgment at revision3.com, over at Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and at Google+. We'll see you soon.